Hey there YouTube friends, today I'm going to tackle the stove top and clean it up a bit. We've been living here four years now and we do a lot of cooking and you can see that the drip bowls are all grungy and dirty looking so that's easy enough to replace. We're just going to go to Home Depot and get new drip bowl sets but we also have staining on the stainless steel, baked on stains so that could be a little trickier. I'm going to see what I can get to clean that up. This stove top is probably about at least 30 years old. This is a Kenmore. I don't know how many people remember Kenmore appliances, but they made really great stuff, stuff to last. So we're just going to clean it up and we're going to keep using it. These are the replacement bowls we bought at Home Depot. You get a set of four. I think it costs about $24. It's the Everbuilt brand. They fit most ranges except Hot Point and GE. Now, if you're going to do this job yourself and you go out and buy replacement bowls, you want to make sure you measure properly because there's the inside diameter and then there's the outside diameter. The inside is where the burner fits and this is the part that sits on the stovetop. Now, we also bought one replacement burner. This is the Everbuilt brand again. It's a six inch, fits most brands, but it doesn't fit GE or hot point this was 35 bucks and we bought that because this burner right here for some reason is missing the uh, the holder so we'll replace that okay now we're just going to remove the burners obviously you want to do this with the burners off and they just pull out like that trays just pop out like that okay now with a damp paper towel I'm just going to try to get up any loose stuff that might be in here and you could also lift it up like that and get all the loose stuff up Okay, the product I decided on was this Pro Commercial Use Easy Off. It says it works on baked on stains, so we're going to see if this does, does the trick. Okay, now I'm just going to spray it on. Okay, now you can see it's starting to foam and breaking up all that grease. So we're going to let it sit about 15 minutes and then we'll wipe it down with a damp sponge. Okay, now I let it sit for about 20 minutes, so now I'm just going to hit it with a damp sponge and see how it looks. Oh yeah, that works real good. So, might have to do a little bit of scrubbing. Now this doesn't really have any strong odor to it, but I do have the windows open and it recommends that you open windows and use it in a ventilated area. Well, it really breaks up that grease, as you can see. Okay, that's what it looks like after the first treatment, but we still have some stuff along here, so I'm just going to hit it again. Okay, I let this sit for about another 15 minutes, so let's just see if that does the trick. I think that did it. Might be a couple of stubborn spots, but I could come back and get that. Okay, there is a final look. Much cleaner, much better. If you found this video useful, please give a thumbs up. Please subscribe, drop a comment. That always helps. And happy home improvement. Catch you next time. See you.